Well, some fans of the hip hop star Drake were puzzled as they came out of the Apollo Theater after his concert this past Saturday because they saw an NYPD officer recording their exit. And that's raised questions from concerned people who have privacy questions about what would be done with the footage. Was the NYPD using facial recognition technology on people? The NYPD says the video was not being used to surveil anyone. News Force John Chandler live outside the Apollo in Harlem with the latest on this controversy. So, John, what were they doing? Adam, this created quite a stir, as you can imagine, and the video that was being recorded was being recorded for social media purposes, but people weren't necessarily aware of that coming out of the theater, and they had a lot of questions, specifically, what was that video going to be used for? So we went straight to the 28th Precinct to get some answers. Drake played the Apollo Theater, his two shows, wowing the Harlem audience, receiving critical acclaim. But now, the NYPD is drawing criticism for recording concert goers as they left. This video, shot by a New York Times reporter, viewed by millions, many questioning if it's a surveillance tactic. Well, our NYPD cameras are line up this uh Line up this street. Captain Tariq Shepard is the commanding officer of the 28th Precinct. This guy has an iPhone on a selfie stick re recording. It has nothing to do with uh, some sort of uh, a facial recognition program or anything like that. He says the community affairs officer was just doing his job, producing a social media video. It's not illegal to do this, is it? No. As long as, as long as you, you know, look, we, I don't want to get into laws and all that other stuff. We were recording in public on a public sidewalk. And by the way, if anybody was to come up and say, hey, I don't want to be in any video or anything like that. I will honor that always. The produced video posted to social media at 7.45 this morning, admittedly several days after the event. The ACLU says people have a right to be alarmed, telling News 4 the NYPD has a vast arsenal of invasive technologies, including facial recognition and other video analytics, which it's used for more than a decade to surveil and target New Yorkers, especially black and brown communities. Would you be comfortable with the NYPD recording images of you on their social media account as you're coming out of a concert? <laughs> no, I wouldn't feel cool with it. Where was it? The demographic of the people that were there. Herbert, like many commenters yeah. on social media, wonders if no, police I, I would do this at other shows. As opposed to like, say, um, Taylor Swift. You know, Mayor Adams dismissed these concerns, commending the 28th precinct for its creativity. When you have those that are sitting at home in the corner of their room trying to find a reason to divide NYPD from everyday New Yorkers, then they're going to say that. The Apollo is hosting more shows this weekend with the 28th precinct providing security. Captain Shepard says they'll keep making videos. It's just extremely important to tell our own story. If, we, if we're not doing that, we can't expect for the right story to be told. Are you worried about the reaction in the community? No, I've had, but I, I've seen some negative comments, but I've seen a lot of people, reasonable amount of people, jumping into those chats saying, hey, first, it looks like, just like an iPhone to me, guys. And second, go back and look at their social media. You know, they put a lot of stuff up. And the 28th Precinct is quite active video-wise on their social media accounts and will continue to do so. And whatever video they produce, specifically at this Apollo show, the police stressing that that video will not be used for any other purposes than the produced social media video. We're live outside the Apollo in Harlem. I'm John Chandler, News 4 New York.